Now I want you to follow me very well as a good student. John says when seal number one was opened, when the book was opened and he saw seal number one being opened by the Lamb with Jesus Christ, he saw someone on a white horse. And the Bible says the guy who was sitting on the white horse was having a bow. And this guy was also having a crown. And also the Bible says he was sent to conquer and conquering. And specifically we are talking about the Antichrist. How do we know that it is the Antichrist? I want you to put your finger there and go to Revelation chapter 19. We want to understand who is this guy that is coming on a white horse. We want to understand who has given him the bow and the crown and what is his agenda. Basically we are talking about the Antichrist. But in Revelation 19, I just want to show you that this guy has impersonated Jesus Christ. Because the Bible teaches that when Jesus Christ will be coming, he will come on a white horse. But this guy is also coming on a white horse with an agenda. Because if we all know that Jesus Christ is coming on a white horse, which I also know that the world believes that Jesus should also come on a white horse, this guy will come on a white horse pretending to be Jesus Christ, and when the world will see a guy on a white horse, they will say that is Jesus Christ. And, and remember the Bible used the words of conquering and to conquer. Why is he coming in a white, you know, uh, clothing or a, a cord? Why is he coming white? He's coming white so that he can use that agenda to deceive many. And when he stands before people and says, hey, I am Jesus Christ, the world will believe. The world will say yes. We have been always told that Jesus will come on a white horse. We know that Jesus must raise white. Because today, anytime you see the picture of Jesus Christ, is he dressing red? Anytime you have ever seen the so-called the picture, the picture of Jesus Christ, have you ever seen him dressing red? Have you ever seen that so-called Catholic Jesus dressing black? Have you ever seen him dressing red or green? No. Always when they give you the picture of Jesus, they give you in which color? White. And what about Satan? Who knows how Satan looks like from the pictures and drawings? Black. And you know that is wickedness. That is racism. Let me tell you, Satan is not black. And Jesus is not white. I want you to understand that. People wanted to create an enmity among the races. They drew Satan in black and gave him horns. But Satan is not a human being. Amen? Satan has no skin color. And Jesus was not white, neither was Jesus black. But this guy will come in white so that our brothers who are not saved who are lost in the religion, who are lost in the world, when they see that guy coming on a white horse, dressing white, they will say, Jesus is here with us. Let us worship him. Let us embrace him. Because that is how we have been wired to believe that any time we see even a false prophet dressing white, we then say he is holy. Today we have false prophets who are dressing white from the shoe, the socks, the coat. The shirt, the tie. Even today they have gone even further dyeing the beard to be white. And even dressing or putting on a white hat. And when you look at that you say, the man of God is holy. You can see these things today and you can be sure that the Antichrist will use the same means to deceive the world. That is why the Bible says when the book was opened, seal number one being opened, the man of God, John, saw a guy coming in the world on a white horse. But this is not Jesus Christ because Revelation 19 shows that Jesus Christ will come on a white horse and so he's not the guy being spoken of here.